I titled the, this exhibition Iconic. It's a body of work that is, that was, uh, that is influenced in part by, by my religious uh, upbringing. And so I wanted to do, I created paintings basically that are influenced by uh, religious iconography. I wanted to honor certain individuals, but I, I did not want to recreate, you know, Catholic uh, images from the past. Um, these paintings are constructed in, with using a couple of different techniques. I call them kind of mixed media. Again, kind of balancing balancing the, uh, the, the more serious nature of art making with something that's very playful. And yeah, why not, why not you know, use a piece of cardboard to create a work of art? Picasso did it, you know, and uh, I think it's valid. You know, it's a valid thing to do. One of the things that, that um, I also tell my students is that when you're a, you're a creative person, um, you create with what you have, you know, whether it's sticks or mud or whatever, cardboard. Um, a, lot of, a lot of my work is also influenced by, by folk art. And so on some of my trips to, uh, to Mexico, you know, you see some of these folk artists working in the street to sell their, their little, little things that they make to make a living. And I mean, I'm amazed with some of the stuff that they, they do. This series of iconic, the, the, the paintings called Iconic, really really began with, with this painting and the one right behind you. Uh, he's, he has a serious gaze and he, instead of a crown of thorns, he has a crown of jewels. You know, if you look at those glamour magazines, those fashion magazines, it's all about, you know, it's all about money and, and the, the glamour of it. So I wanted to make them very glamorous. At the same time, to counterbalance the, 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 the realness of the portrait, I wanted to counter that with uh, some flat color. This was again the first one of the first two paintings. Um, this was my the other model, the female model, uh, female perfection that I found in this magazine, and I wanted to transform her into this kind of a uh, Mary kind of figure. And she has this very um, glamorous kind of a stare, serious stare and I wanted to include these halos around her and jewels and things like that and uh, a jeweled heart, you know, for her. Um, after I did those two pieces and I started, started uh, researching maybe uh, certain subjects, I stumbled upon figures like her, you know, Mukhtar Mai and what uh, I consider to be an iconic, you know, individual. Her heart is represented by barbed wire in the shape of a heart and inside it there's a, a little sparrow. Uh, the sparrow is this very common little bird, you know, kind of brown and drab, not that colorful. Uh, kind of like her, you know, she's kind of this individual out of nowhere and it came out uh, uh, speaking out against the, the cruelties, you know, that are, that are happening uh, to women in Islamic countries. And yet, you know, she's, she's really represented by the sparrow and, and her freedom, her hope is really sprouting from within and someday you know, she will be free and uh, uh, be able to live her life the way she wants to live her life. Um, I, what attracted me to her face was her stare. You know, it had almost this blank kind of stare. So I wanted to create a painting that was kind of cold and detached. And, and um, uh, so I was just kind of thinking of the temperature of cold, you know, and what materials could I use. And I want to use uh, a silver leaf. Silver leaf can be very expensive. So what's better use maybe um, uh, instead of that, I used uh, a gum wrappers. Again, it's kind of a way to kind of counterbalance the serious nature of an academic technique with something that's a little bit more playful. Uh, this one is the last, the most recent painting that I've done, and uh, I titled this one Sorrowful Mother. And again, I'm referencing those religious uh, images that I, that I grew up with. Uh, in this case, the Sorrowful Mother is uh, Elvira Arellano. And if you remember, she's the, she was the mother that was uh, that was uh, seeking sanctuary or sought sanctuary in a church in Chicago. Some people would see her as a saint, some people would see her, see her as a sinner since she broke the law and came to this country anyway. Uh, but I wanted to almost like document her experience and, and her image.